Right, so we are about to forge a rune pendant. And, uh, yeah, got almost the basic shape of the pendant ready. Then uh, I also gonna forge a loop for it. I'm gonna forge the loop out of a separate piece, a 3mm wire. So I have this guillotine, these kind of dies. So I get a groove here where the 3mm wire will fit. So I'm gonna wrap it around and hold this spot. Still gonna do some forging at the bottom of the pendant and then engrave the root. This, as we can see, got it a little bit off, so I will need to adjust that one. I want it to be straight line there in the middle. Oh, it looks good. I'm gonna take it from the bar and then I'm still go one more time at the grooves here. Something like that. And uh, while this is cooling, I am gonna forge the runes while this is cold. So while this is cooling down, I will forge the loop. So I'm gonna take this 3mm wire here and Alright, so I have uh, piled off any sharp corners here and and uh, made it into the final sh shape. So it's time to uh, make the rune on here and uh, I'm gonna draw some lines to help me help me out. Something like that. Now I'm just gonna take some chisels and So when I have 
Since I have a chisel that is shorter than the line, I have to take several um, several times here to get the right length. And uh, that tends to make the line a bit uneven. But one way to make it more uh, even is to lightly tap, tap the hammer and then move the chisel out. So it almost jumps by itself when you hammer, then it you let it go from one one point to another, and then it comes more even. Like that. And uh, then we're gonna have the cross. I think I will should have a chisel that is something in between these. Well, I used to, but uh, not anymore. So we will we'll be fine with this one also. But That was only that line no one can take with the longer chisel again. And that looks good. And since I'm not cutting away any material with these chisels, it's just pushing the material around here. It will, when you cross lines or make two parallel lines, it will mess up the other lines. So uh, we'll have to go a bit back and forth in order to get it. A clean clean look so I'm gonna make the cross here and want to get it in the right angle looks good and a little bit longer That looks good. Now I'm gonna take the loop. I'm gonna attach it in the groove here and wrap this around and then shape it into a loop. And now I'm gonna cut this off. I know that a three centimeter is usually a good size for the loop. That, and now I'm just gonna squeeze it and make it real tight so it doesn't wiggle here. And this is what the finished pendant looked like.